This guide covers all the actions that Dancer learns from level 61 to 90, including how each action is meant to be used and recommendations when necessary. We also go over the rotation at level 70 and 80. The guide finishes with a level 90 specific guide covering opener, rotation, 2 minute bursts and stat priorities. This guide does not cover level 60 and I refer to my starter guide for this information. I will also assume you are acquainted with common abbreviations like GCD, OGCD and Weaving. And in case you need a refresher, I have shorts on both of these subjects. Now then, at level 62, you learn the ability Devilment, which massively boosts your own and your dance partner's critical hit and direct hit rate. This should be used as often as possible, even on AoE. When starting a fight, use Devilment right after your initial standard finish. Remember that you can do standard step as well as the steps before starting a fight to begin your attack faster. Throughout a fight, try to save up to 3 fourfold feathers to spend during Devilment to make the most of the buff. Whenever you have 4 feathers, make sure to spend one at least before your next action that can generate feathers. During Devilment, weave one Fan Dance per GCD. At level 66, you learn the ability Fan Dance 3. Fan Dance 1 and 2 both upgrade to have a 50% chance to grant the threefold Fan Dance buff, which you can have only one of. Threefold Fan Dance is spent on Fan Dance 3 and is equally good for single target or AoE. Whenever Fan Dance 3 is available, you should weave it. With good reaction speed, you can even weave Fan Dance 3 in the same GCD window that you weaved Fan Dance 1 or 2. Unlike fourfold feathers, you should not make a point of saving threefold Fan Dance for Devilment. The introduction of Fan Dance 3 means there is a genuine chance that you will need to double weave at times, and as such, it is worth mentioning that standard finish has a slightly shorter GCD than your other weapon skills, and so you should never more than single weave after standard finish. At level 68, Arnavang is upgraded to hold an extra charge. This, however, does not really change your rotation. At level 70, you learn the weapon skill Technical Step, which is similar to Standard Step, but takes 4 steps to finish instead of just 2. Technical Step should be used as often as possible, both for the damage bonus it provides for your entire raid, but also because of the significant damage it does. Try to weave Devilment right after Technical Finish. Since these two actions have the same cooldown, they can always be paired together like this. Note that Technical Finish, just like Standard Finish, has a shorter GCD. Finally, while Technical Finish applies its buff in quite a large area, it is not endless, so it is a good idea to use it while somewhere in the middle of your raid. Since level 60, your Fan Dances have been upgraded with sometimes further extending with Fan Dance 3. Technical Step and Devilment are also both added as 2 minute cooldowns to really boost your damage temporarily and should be used on cooldown. Make sure to save 4 fold feathers for these burst windows to make the most of them, but don't save threefold fan dancers for it, as these can easily run out, and additionally, you can only hold one anyway. Always make sure to spend a fourfold feather when you have four. This changes your opener somewhat. Start by preemptively casting standard step and do the steps, up to 15.5 seconds before combat starts, and finish when the fight begins, perfectly half a second before. Then immediately use technical step, do the four steps and then finish, followed by weaving devilment. While Devilman's buff still holds, spend any feathers you pick up, and make sure to prioritize the higher potency weapon skills when they proc, to sneak in as much damage as you can. At level 72, you learn the ability Flourish, which, when used, grants you Flourishing Symmetry, Flourishing Flow, and Threefold Fan Dance all at once. It is important to make sure you don't use Flourish while you have a Threefold Fan Dance already, although, if you make sure to spend these procs when you get them, this should never be an issue. Flourishing Symmetry and Flourishing Flow are copies of the Silken Symmetry and Silken Flow buffs, and you can have both at the same time. Should this be the case, then the Silken buffs will always be spent first, regardless of the order you got them in. You should use Flourish on cooldown, as soon as it is available. For your opener, weave Flourish after the first GCD after technical finish. Make sure to weave the Fan Dance 3 alongside it. At level 76, you learn the weapon skill Saber Dance, which does a lot of damage at the cost of 50 Esprit, found in your newly unlocked Esprit gauge. Standard Finish and Technical Finish will now, in addition to their existing effects, also apply the buff Esprit to everyone affected. This means, for Standard Finish, you and your partner, and for Technical Finish, your entire raid team. In both cases, the Esprit effect lasts just as long as the damage boosting effect. Your regular weapon skills always generate 5 Esprit, while weapon skills and spells from anyone else affected has a chance to generate 10. Note that the chance varies between jobs, so the average Esprit produced by each job should be approximately the same. 
What this means is that when technical finish is used, especially in a raid context, you should expect to generate a lot of esprit. You should save esprit to spend on saber dance during devilment. However, you should use saber dance if your esprit gauge nears full. As such, you could save around 80 to 90 esprit and use saber dance at this point to avoid overcaving. During Devilment and Technical Finishes buff, you should make it a point to use Saber Dance over all of your regular JCDs whenever possible. At level 78, Arnavan gains yet another charge, but again, this does not change your rotation. At level 80, you learn the channeled ability Improvisation. When the channel begins, it immediately applies a heal over time effect in an AoE around you as well as applying Rising Rhythm. Every 3 seconds the ability is channeled, it adds another stack of Rising Rhythm as well as reapplying the Hot. While channeling, the ability is replaced by Improvised Finish which, when cast, ends Improvisation and applies a shield in an AoE based on the number of stacks of Rising Rhythm. The most common time to use Improvisation is during an intermission in a fight where there is nothing to attack, but the boss is winding up an attack of their own. The healing over time helps the healer sub everyone up, and timing the shield just right helps with the incoming damage as well. A more advanced way of using this action is weaving it. Weaving either just improvisation or even also improvised finish, a lot tighter on the timing on that one, can be used as a regularly available party heal with an accompanying shield which is a very nice help for your team so do make sure to use this. Since level 70, Flourish and Saber Dance alongside the Esprit Gauge have been added to your offensive arsenal. Flourish should be used on cooldown and the Esprit Gauge should be stockpiled similarly to the fourfold Feathers while waiting for your cooldowns, only spending Gauge on Saber Dance when close to capping. During bursts, Saber Dance should take priority over your regular combos and the procced actions. This only changes your opener slightly. Use Standard Finish as previously described, Technical Finish and Weave Devilment as before. Then use Cascade, Weaving Flourish and Fan Dance 3. And then you simply use your weapon skills in this order of priority, spending feathers as you get them while the buffs still last. Take note that if standard finish was timed perfectly on the final second, you should be able to use standard step again while devilment still holds. At level 82, you learn the weapon skill Telana. Whenever you use technical finish, technical step is replaced by Telana and should be used on the GCD immediately following technical finish. Note that Tilana's GCD is slightly shorter like standard and technical finish and as such you should only weave flourish after it in the opener and weave the fan dance 3 in the GCD that follows after. At level 84 you learn the trait enhanced esprit which causes your proc based weapon skills like reverse cascade to always generate 10 esprit instead of 5. While this does not really affect your rotation, it does mean you will generate significantly more esprit over the course of a fight and can expect to spend a lot more GCDs on Saber Dance outside of Devilment. At level 86, you learn the ability Fan Dance 4 and Flourish is upgraded to also grant a 4-fold Fan Dance proc, not to be confused with a 4-fold Feather. Fan Dance 4 can only be used when you have a 4-fold Fan Dance and so will only be available once per Flourish. Whenever you use Flourish, make space to weave Fan Dance 4 eventually, but after Fan Dance 3, since Fan Dance 3 can be procced from other sources while Fan Dance 4 cannot. At level 88, Shield Sampa's cooldown is reduced to 90 seconds, although this does not really change how you use it. Naturally, both Machinists and Bars also get the same improvement at this level, so they are all identical and only visually distinct. At level 90, you learn the weapon skill Starfall Dance, which does a lot of guaranteed critical directed damage on use, but can only be used while you have Flourishing Starfall. Devilment is upgraded to grant Flourishing Starfall, and Starfall Dance should be used during Devilment's buff, both because the duration of Flourishing Starfall is the same, but also because attacks that are guaranteed to critical directed derive a damage boost from effects that increase the rate of these effects meaning Devilment massively enhances Starfall Dance's damage even further. Starfall Dance should be used right after technical finish in your opener, pushing Tilana one GCD later. To round off, let's first talk about an opener followed by general rotation, as well as how this works with the 2 minute burst. And finally, let's briefly touch on stat priorities on gear. Let's begin. Make sure to use closed position on the strongest DPS in your group, then up to 15.5 seconds before combat starts, use standard step followed by 2 steps. Then, optionally use Peloton to help the party into position. If you intend to use a Tincture, a so-called Burst Potion, use it 2 seconds before combat starts. Then half a second before combat starts, use Standard Finish and immediately use Technical Step followed by the 4 steps and then Technical Finish, weaving Devilment. Then use Starfall Dance, weaving Flourish and Fan Dance 3. 
Tilana weaving fan dance for, and then saber dance if you can, fountain fall otherwise, and use any fan dances if you got any. Then use standard step again, two steps, and then standard finish. Depending on how early you started your opener standard step, you may need to perform additional GSDs before the finishing standard step. If the standard finish clearly will fall outside devilment, it is better to delay standard step until after that. Simply follow the priority while filling with GCDs. This then leads to the general rotation. Dancer's rotation revolves around generating Esprit Gauge and fourfold Feathers during downtime where you don't have any big temporary damage bonuses, venting any excess so nothing goes to waste, and then bursting everything whenever you do have temporary damage buffs. While waiting for bursts, you use your 1-2 combos and spend procs as they come. Standard Step should be used as close to uncooldown as possible, and the only GCDs that take priority over Standard Step is Technical Step and Saber Dance if you're going to lose out on Esprit Gauge. Depending on your skill speed, you may not be able to use Standard Step exactly on cooldown without delaying your GCD. This is not worth it, so simply let Standard Step be used every 32-ish seconds instead. If Standard Step becomes ready around 6 seconds before Technical Step, you should delay Standard Step until after Technical Finish to be 100% sure Technical Step comes out exactly on time. Every minute, Flourish also adds a bit of extra burst with Fan Dance 4 and some guaranteed props. It may be worth spending SP Gauge in anticipation of this. Overall, you simply use all of your cooldowns exactly as they come up, and assuming nothing gets delayed, your 2 minute burst will be mostly the same as your opener, with the only difference being that you are more likely to be able to fill with saber dances and fan dances consistently, and standard step may land differently. This conveniently means that if you master the dancer opener, you should be perfectly capable of performing the 2 minute burst, as it is mostly the same, with the only concern being that some actions may have drifted slightly as things happen in fights. Standard Step should take priority over Starfall Dance during bursts, simply because Starfall Dance doesn't have a cooldown, while Standard Step does. For AoE adjustments, on two targets, replace Fountain Fall with Blood Shower and Fan Dance 1 with Fan Dance 2. On three or more targets, additionally replace Cascade, Fountain and Reverse Cascade with Windmill, Blade Shower and Rising Windmill. Everything else in your toolkit should be used as on a single target. Take note, however, that Fan Dance 4 and Starfall Dance strike in a line in front of you, while basically all of your other AoE options strike in an AoE either around yourself or around your target in case of Fan Dance 3 and Saber Dance. Position yourself accordingly. Finally, regarding stat priorities, take note that in nearly every single case, item level beats out optimal secondary stats. This means you should always prioritize gear with higher item level, as long as it has dexterity on it. After that, Dancer's stat priority is Critical Hit, then Determination and Direct Hit. Determination and Direct Hit are almost identical in value, with Determination being a tiny bit better, so given the choice between the two, it should be preferred. Dancer's many procs being heavily tied to GSDs mean that Dancer does draw some benefit from skill speed, but the simple fact that so many of its cooldowns are unaffected, and Dancer is so focused on its burst anyway, makes skill speed less valuable than the other stats. However, a GCD of around 2.46 to 2.49 isn't actually that bad of a thing for the job. Now, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support me and my channel, you can like the video, leave a comment, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when next I post a video. And if you want to give even more support than that, you can also become a member of the channel like these wonderful people here. Fun fact, if you thought an opener that starts 16 seconds before the fight begins is annoying, then you will be delighted to know there is an even more ridiculous opener for dancers that start 46 seconds before the fight starts. Use standard step 46 seconds before so that you and your partner has the standard finish buff for your very first GCD. Generally, this addition of 30 seconds adds up to a grand total of… 36 more potency in total.